What's going on everybody? Griffin Striker here coming at you with a kind of simple video basically going over some of the things that I personally need to do before Dawn Trail comes out and some things that I mean most people probably think about this but this is your reminder one to do it and also um, if you're a little bit unsure of what you need to have ready for Dawn Trail uh, this will be kind of a little guide for you to go over those things that you might need. Anyways, to start out, one of the biggest things is your inventory. Now, as you can see, my inventory is an absolute hot mess monstrosity right now, uh, filled with all kinds of things I don't need. So I'm going to kind of go over some of the things that I look for as far as cleaning out my inventory. So one, you really don't need a lot in your inventory. So the main things you actually need in your inventory are going to be your food buffs if you want to keep food buffs. You don't really have to, but if you want to keep them, any crafting materials that you need for crafters that you're currently leveling, if you're doing that method, obviously there are other methods where you don't need as many crafting materials. And dyes if you're going to be doing a lot of glam work and things of that nature. But for the most part, everything that's in my inventory right now, I can pretty much either throw away or store. And we'll be going over kind of what to keep. So... For me, the main things that I'm going to keep is going to be obviously the tokens. So these are going to be the things from the various different types of content, lockboxes. Like these things are going to get kept. So these are going to get put in my retainer, Chocobo saddlebag if you prefer that for some of them. Lockboxes actually do go well in the saddlebag because then you always have them on you if you ever want to open them. Um, or you could just open them. You could do that as well dies i will put these all on one retainer so that they're kind of in one place and then when i need them for actual glam work i will pull them out usually right now i have a bunch because i was doing a lot of glamming and we'll go over that a little bit in a minute as well other than that most of the stuff this crafting material i'm not using it anymore i'm probably just gonna sell it to my uh, retainer some of it has a little bit of value so i may try to actually sell it on the market just kind of depends a lot of this is useless and i have like one or two of it not too concerned with it and that's kind of how i would go about cleaning out inventory all right so next up is another one of my pain points the armory chest this gets full so quickly especially when you start leveling more classes so i'm not a i'm not an all 90 year yet i am working on that over on twitch.tv slash striker if you want to see the streams but i am trying to get there before dawn trail so we'll see if i'll be able to make that happen but this is actually easier if you have all 90s. When you don't is where it gets harder. So the biggest thing that you want to remember for your armory chest is you only want to keep one piece for each type of class. So what I mean by that is like this, the Crypt Lurker's Helm. This is Lance, Dragoon, and Reaper. So what this is is going to be two different jobs, Dragoon and Reaper. The big thing that you need to take into account is if they're not around the same level, you're going to have to keep two sets, uh, potentially uh, three, depending on the class, but potentially two sets that are near these levels. You want to keep as few sets of each type as you can. One is definitely the sweet spot, but you can only really do that if you have everything max at level 90, unless you just want to be pulling things out of your inventory constantly. Now, you are starting a new expansion. You may not care to level the other classes. You may choose to do that just to keep your armory chest clear. But as long as you have a couple of spots, I'd say four or five spots, leveling your main job shouldn't get annoying because if you're getting in-game gear, by the time you get to Dawn Trail, you're probably going to be in that in-game gear until about roughly 94, 95 before you'll find things that are truly a big upgrade. There'll be some small upgrade pieces from there uh, a little bit before that. But most of the time, you're keeping that to about 95. And then the other thing is, is that while you're doing this, and this goes for the inventory as well, uh, just double check things. Like you may start to throw out a piece and you're like, oh man, this uh, ninja hat that I can't see because I'm a bunny, ignore that one. Uh, let's go to something we can actually see. Uh, this coat for my miner. I really like it. Maybe I want to use it for glam someday. Throw that in my glamour dresser. So you always want to keep that in mind. Just double check things, see if they're cool. Me personally, I always look for things that are dyeable. So they'll have that little circle right there. I don't keep a ton of gear that's not dyeable. If it's a neutral color like black, a darker gold, like things like that that can kind of fit with a lot of different colors, I'll keep it. 
but a lot of stuff ends up being a little bit too like bright and too many colors mixed together to make it easy to fit into a full set as far as glam. So next up, we're going to be going over the retainers. All right, so this one is going to be very similar to your inventory. So we're going to go over Waddle's worth here. So I do have paid retainers. So I have a lot of inventory space in them. Uh, and it's still like, it's, it's a cluster. I have stuff in multiple places. I'm pretty sure I have some that are on multiple retainers, like things that are duplicated. Um, so one thing is you can do the entrust duplicates. This is a relatively new-ish feature. Like, I don't remember what patch was introduced in, but pretty nifty little thing to just get rid of your materials, put them all in there if you want to keep them. But for cleaning out your retainers, kind of the same thing as inventory. Get rid of any unused crafting materials. You're going to stack up a lot of it if you're leveling crafters. Get rid of it. You're probably never going to use it unless you go achievement hunting. Just get rid of it. Also, theme your vendors is a very good idea. So, like, Waddlesworth is my die vendor. So, all of my dies are going to go here on Waddlesworth. So, that way I know if I need dies, I come here. All my dies are here. I don't have to worry about thinking which retainer it is in. And that becomes a nightmare, especially with more than two retainers, keeping track of all the stuff and across all the things. The other good thing to separate a lot of the time is going to be your tokens. So I do actually have my retainer Colin here, who is actually my token and some other random stuff that I need to get rid of. I have so much of the Sky Builder stuff. Need to get rid of it. This is primarily my token vendor, token retainer. So keeping it kind of separated so you know where things are whenever you need them is definitely a plus. All right, and the next tip is going to be primarily about the classes going into the new expansion. So first off, the classes that you already have at 90, if you're not grinding the end game to get the best quality gear, one good thing is as long as you keep your poetics near cap, you can get a full or almost complete set from here once the expansion goes live, assuming they keep it the same as they have been, which I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. But these will go to Tomestone of Poetics vendors, and then you can come here and get a full set of gear just for them. Or if you're actually interested in the Viper or the Pictomancer, you can head over to Yolmore. This is the Shadowbringers in-game city that has the token vendors. And you can actually go ahead and set this up to be ready right as they're released. So their gear level is probably going to be 15 to 25 below this if it's the same as like Reaper was for this expansion. But you can come here, you can go to for Viper, for instance, uh, DOW 2. And then I come in here and I can get, and I've actually already done this. So uh, you have the corslet of uh, scouting. So for Viper you're going to be using Rogue Ninja gear. So you can go ahead and put up a full set of this. I've already gotten the legs and chest, I believe. Yes. So I'm setting this up because I'm planning to main Viper throughout the story. And then I'll probably swap back to Sage to level up after the fact because Healer is my home, but Viper has me very interested. Uh, and then same thing for Pictomancer. You can go through and get your mage gear. All right, and my last tip for this video is actually going to be what the true end game of Endwalker is, which is your glamour. So make sure to go through, set up any glamours you want for your current classes. These are likely to change as you find new sets throughout Dawn Trail, uh, but you definitely want to make sure you're set up for Dawn Trail and have everything ready. So obviously you saw, see my healer set. This is kind of my main healer set. I have a generic set here that I use for classes that I don't feel like building a full set for. And then I think it is, yes, 19 here. This is actually my Viper set. So this is going to be what I'm rocking on Viper when it does come out. This may change. Obviously, there's months to come and I may get pieces of gear that I feel like fit the style that I'm going for better. But for right now, this is what I'm going to be rocking for Viper when it comes out. But have fun. Go through this. You have 800 slots. I mean, obviously, you can reach that limit. So be careful. And if you need advice there, uh, the only real advice I can give you as far as cleaning out your glamour dresser is just literally go through everything, find stuff you don't like, classes you don't use, or care to glamour, and just start pulling stuff out from that point on. But you do have a lot of room. As long as you're not like a true in-game glamour person, you probably don't have this maxed yet. If you do, uh, like I said, just go through, clean it out, 
and then see what happens when the expansion drops. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Thanks for staying and watching the video. Is there anything else that you're, you think of that you need to have done before Dawn Trail or any goals that you have before Dawn Trail comes out? Drop it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and hanging out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.